fucked up, dude. I did a uh, improv class at IO Theater in Nebraska. No, in Chicago. I'm saying because everybody moves. Out. Do you know that it is IO Theater? IO Theater, no. It's like so. Okay, so I guess the way that people explain it is Second City is like book education on comedy. Yeah. So people, it, it like it really doesn't have a good name for itself lately because it's like you're sitting in a class. Like okay, here's the equation. And then you do your thing. Interesting. And IO Theater, you immediately get thrown on stage and you do improv. It was terrifying. And I, I, I loved it. It was like fucking therapy. So you for are me. you're a fan of improv then? I mean, I don't think I would want to do it. Prefer, like I would, re- I like stand up better. So I'd like to get better than. And and it's a challenge. And I like Wait, to do. You enjoy like watching stand up more. Like you prefer both. Or okay. I prefer stand up both watching and doing. Okay. Because it's a challenge, and I like to learn new things and get better at them. Sure. And I always, like, like like improv to me was like. It kind of reminded me of like when I would just get high and fuck around with buddies. Sure. You know, like you just kind of just, I don't know, <laughs> you know, like everybody's. It, 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 the the thing that I learned with improv because you you know there there um there's that herald thing you, mm-hmm. you know what that is yeah where it's sort of like everybody come jumps in at one moment and you just play one character and the thing was it was like too easy sort of like, like you just play one character in a scene like like they give you a scene they're like okay uh this takes place in a bathroom and this couple is having an argument all right and each person has to go in line and do their thing. And I would like come in and be like, ah, oh, why isn't the handicap room open? I just shat myself, you know? And you just keep coming in. And it's, I don't know, it's naturally, f- like there's no, you don't have to, you don't have to really put in effort for it to be funny. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> well, then I don't know. Man. I've seen a lot of improv. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and because of that, I've seen a lot of bad improv. Yeah, yeah. Improv uh, seems really, really hard to me. That seems way harder than stand up to me. In my, I don't. People argue with me all the time about that, but I can do stand up. I can do it. I think it's fun. Um, but improv, I'm not funny on the spot. I need. Well, I need, sure. I need like preparation. Polish. Yeah. Rehearse. I, I think need that some kind might of idea ahead of time. I think that might be why I'm bad at stand up because I've had like like you told me that I'm better on the spot, just be myself rather sure. than putting jokes together. So maybe it's just like me. Maybe I think you're maybe in your head too much. Maybe you overthink things. But, I, yes, um, definitely. So, I I don't know. There is nothing better on this earth than good improv. Conversely, better than there stand is, up. Um, yeah, I would I would say that good like quality improv I find like way funnier than um, stand up because it uh, there's more like variety. I guess like the the scenarios change and the characters change and they yeah, rather than they one develop. Character. And I think I like that it's a team effort. And yeah. so like a good team can do wonders, but there is nothing more cringeworthy than bad, <laughs> bad improv. And I used to go out with um, a pretty prolific improviser here in Chicago. And so I went from seeing absolutely no improv to seeing three improv shows a week. And Ooh, that's a lot of improv. It Jeez. was a lot of improv, yeah. and a lot of it wasn't great. But the the teams that were great just out of like they cracked me up. It was yeah so good. So I know one rule about like when people get into improv is yes like, and that uh um yes and what that yeah. that's a rule. You can't, you can't if you're working with a team, you can't shut down anyone's idea. You have to agree with it and add to it. Yeah, yeah, but also that um, yes, and I, I'm lost. That's what you just <laughs> you said. Yeah, also, I'm and lost I and yes, oh okay. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes, is, and, okay, is a different way of saying yeah. Also, I'm sorry, I'm grammatically incorrect. No, 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 you're uh, we're we're saying the same thing, just in your different feet ways. Counter head, <laughs> that, okay, too right. much. No, continue. No, but any, no, um, yes, and <laughs> uh, I, I I've heard that. Um, well, I remember one of the biggest problems was that when people g- would go into it, they were trying too hard to be funny. When people just, I I mean, what I would do, and it worked for me every single time, like the teacher would go up to me and be like, you need to take the next class, is that you just, I would think of the most weird fucking character I saw that day. I don't know, like some guy pissing himself on the train with barf in his dreads <gasps> or something, you know? And oh, then, and then, you improvised as me? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to be that. I, I don't want to mention his name. <laughs> no, no. Oh. But uh, you know, and I would just play that character seriously rather than try and like most people will try and like sneak in some mm. one-liners right. or or yeah. do something exactly. ridiculous. When it's if you seriously play that character, it doesn't even have to be. It, it could be the most whatever normalized. I don't know, fucking like Mormon type <laughs> salesman or something. You know, I don't know. That's just my opinion. So you took stand-up classes at I.O.? or no? Just imp- it's. I think it's only improv there. Okay. I think what discouraged me from going there is is uh, I gave up too quick because I, <laughs> I I looked at the we- I looked at the website and I'm like, there's 80 teachers and there's about 20 students per teacher. That's how many people are trying to get good at this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's I don't know. Small fish, big you, pond. Did you like yeah. it? You liked it though. Yeah, yeah, it was it was fun. Um, you know, we there was a lot of different. Uh, w- what I liked is that naturally, everybody in the class was a different fucking person from a different background, and that's cool. A, a di- really different ends of the spectrum. Like yeah. w- w- the first day, you're like. I'm not going to get along with any of these fucking people. And I <laughs> and I know it's in everybody's head. <laughs> Is that what yeah, you think? You yeah. walk into a room like, I fucking right. hate everyone <laughs> but here. It, but everyone automatically has a common ground, which I yeah. think is awesome. That's what I thought was cool about stand-up is like, there's a lot of comics with different kind of points of view and stuff like that. And a lot of them don't look like people I would normally hang out with. Yeah. And I hang out with, and it's, it's so, uh, my circle of friends is like super eclectic now. It's like super weird. Uh, we were after a party one time. It was all comedians. We were walking to the gas station, and we looked like the weirdest gang of people. <laughs> like no one's clothes are matching at all. It was just like, like we all met on a bus. That's what it looked <laughs> like. Clothes not matching. Right. I thought this is like the Warriors, <laughs> man. Wait. Yeah, was it yeah. like none of our styles are anywhere near the same Wait. as each other's? And so they just, forgot their blazers at home. Right. Yeah. No. no it, it was too hot outside for <laughs> blazers. <laughs> It was just like the weirdest group of people you could see, but we all just, I don't know. I, I dig that about it. Yeah. I'll tell you the thing I enjoy more than performing stand-up is watching stand-up. Mm-hmm. Like I have way more fun like just sitting Are and you just, you just yeah. live? Yeah. Because like, I, I love hanging out with comedians, and I love right. uh, how like the, the conversations uh, are just a bit more... Um, I guess accelerated like wits are a little sharper than you, you know, your everyday Joe, whoever. Um, and I don't know if that's true. Maybe that's just the impression I get, no, but I, I see, I feel that um, too. Yeah. But you know, I could be doing that. And then at some point a guy with a microphone says my name and it's like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird dream. That's weird. <laughs> I love shows, but I'm like the exact opposite. Like when I watch a show, it makes me want to do stand up way more hmm, like yeah. i'm always like jealous that they got to go up and then i didn't sure I didn't yeah get to do anything because they look like they're having so much fun everyone's having a good time i just want to be a part of it beyond just a spectator sure yeah but uh, i get I, that same f- do you get that with music too music music not so much because i feel like uh i don't know with uh, with my jokes i lie a lot I, like <laughs> a lot of people like to tell truths i tell like mostly lies like almost like 90 percent lies what do you lie about i lie about being a virgin that's one of my favorite. Okay. <laughs> I like to tell people I'm a 30 year old virgin. Sure. Um, uh, so well, 31 year old. 31. So you're lying about that too? Well, yeah. Then I lie about my age. <laughs> um, just stupid shit like that. Sure. But, uh, so I you also, identify as a 90 year old? <laughs> I also tell people that I, I, I stopped doing drugs. And, and then I'll tell them later on, like, I do a bunch of drugs. It's just like, it's always like back and forth. I'm always constantly lying. <laughs> but some people are like, tell like lots of truths. And I, I don't know. Uh, music is like, it's super honest. And uh, that kind of like is a little bit scarier. It's like poetry almost. Yeah. Like, so, like reading some poetry, especially since I like write a lot of lyrics and stuff like that. So it's like, oh, uh, these are all sad because I'm sad. There's no oh, hiding there. <laughs> sure. Know? There's nowhere to hide. Well, you could like, have you heard of Slim Jesus? No. What's he's, he's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> what's he's, a, he's a 14 year old rapper who all his videos have like laser point Uzis and that he shoots up people, but he's really just like getting punished by his ma. <laughs> no, I'm not even that. kidding. I just like the name Slim Jesus. That sounds it's awesome. pretty good. Yeah, right, I'm gonna have to Google that later. Yeah, I always got it mixed up because I know there was an ICP song where they call Eminem Slim Anus, so you could see Jesus and Anus getting. Yeah, no, there was there was definite beef between <laughs> ICP and, and Eminem, and who could forget? Um, so Slim Jesus, uh, actually one of our week's sponsors uh, for this episode. So. 
Thank you for all <laughs> yeah, your yeah. support. Um, <laughs> if his mom allows it, you know, right? I mean, yeah. Don't be, you know. <laughs> do you guys always mention a uh, like a faux sponsor? Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> lie here a lot too. <laughs> okay, good. We'll yeah. go along. You did that last time. I was like, are they serious? Like, I forgot who you said the sponsor was last time. It was something ridiculous. It it always a lot of times it's just depending on what I'm drinking, right? And, and <laughs> yeah. they're a sponsor, right? <laughs> and or a product will come up in discussion and right, and then uh, yeah, we'll that's the pointed out as <laughs> as a sponsor of the show. But but Varg is actually a sponsor. He's just paying us in twigs. That's because right. he's living the Nordic <laughs> life. You know. That's right. He on his commune. Yeah. Whatever. I don't. Know. We're making friends. We're out there. We're networking. It's called, awesome. it's called Thulo- Thulinian philosophy is it okay, yeah <laughs> it's where you stick to your nationality not 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 racist at all you just right. you just don't want any other ones that exist you know? <laughs> sure it's yeah. like looking at a map of the world and thinking like i'm not gonna like any of this it's like no it's like looking at a map of your country right and you mm. put water you drip water around it and then you light the rest of the map on fire you know mm. oh, i love all of this wait what's happening oh it's getting better you know <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful uh, what other questions do you have uh, on that the, the list of yours? The last question I had was um, going off uh, this list. Have you ever been in a situation where you could save someone's life, comma, and why the hell did you? <laughs> <laughs> save someone's life. Yeah. Uh, or has your life ever been saved? My life ever been saved. By the Lord. Um, Slim Jesus yeah, himself. Man, probably. I feel like I die. I almost die all the time. I like can't see it at night. Sure. So uh, when I'm driving, I'm like constantly dying. So if anyone's in the car telling me that a car's coming, they're saving my life, or to get out of that lane because we're going the wrong direction, <laughs> that's always good. <laughs> I always appreciate that. Uh, I usually tell by their screaming. <laughs> so uh, beyond after that, you uh, run them over. Yeah. No, I don't really. Uh, I've. O- it's always been my dream to save someone's life, though, because I was a huge comic book fan. But I have yet to actually get to do that. So if you guys are in danger, I'm like nearby. And I have nothing going on. Please let me. <laughs> I'll call you <laughs> so I can check that off my bucket list. Yeah. But what if you have to drive there? If it's kind of like drive. a conflict of interest. <laughs> well, then I'm a superhero. Bill, because <laughs> Bill, <laughs> he, if it's dark, Chris wants to save someone's life. So you don't call the person who will actually save your life. You want you want to help out Chris yeah. by having you know yeah, yeah. by being don't a hero. Call, there might be someone near you. Yeah. but throw me a bone. Don't call nine one one. Don't call a medic. Call Chris. <laughs> yeah, call me first. Call Chris. So I can see. No, why? Have you guys saved someone's life? That's a weird question. No, I. <laughs> oh, is kind of. A weird I, way for you guys to segue yeah, into yeah. how you guys are heroes. Yeah, right. Anyway, <laughs> I yeah no, I I, I, I was just coming off shit. Um, oh no, Chris, you've off, never off. saved a life. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I I, I I I forgot that I saved someone's life. I think that's how I came up <laughs> with this question. You saved so many people. Sure, right. <laughs> when I forget, yeah, yeah, when you're as important. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Because um, <laughs> I was yeah, I was just coming up with random questions and then. Kelly reminded me that I saved someone's life about three years ago. We went swimming in Lake Michigan, like in Michigan. We we were like on the tip where like Michigan and Indiana meet, and I guess some old guy was flapping around like a fish uh, uh, on like really far out. We, we everybody tries to reach the sandbar at this one specific area, yeah. and I guess he was having a heart attack, and I swam Gosh. him in. Yeah, and I kind of like didn't think anything of it. To the point where I forgot. Yeah. So, so but, but you I don't. Saved his life. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I was like, guys, leave me alone. Unless he's like well, a Nazi, and then no. right. Yeah. Good Wait job. a minute. <laughs> what are your political views? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back in you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to yeah. ask them. <laughs> uh, well, then there was a second part of that question, and why did you, Phil? And why did I? Uh, Were you on your way to the sandbar anyway? <laughs> well, I was, yeah, on, my was way, on your way. On my way to. Ride. I was on my way to shore. Because it was getting dark. I like to swim when it's dark because it's scary. Sure. Because of the danger. Because right. the <laughs> abyss swallows you. you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I had this argument at the office that I worked with because the that that uh, huge, you know, race war gun nut scumbag that I worked with, mm-hmm. he would tell me that that's one thing he's afraid of is that getting swallowed by the sea. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> We're not going to get along here. Was I dad love like it. a sea captain? Right. Having, like, <laughs> flashbacks? <Yeah. laughs> I never came back. Yeah. Yeah, he went whaling and <laughs> whaling. never came you know home. What's, you know what's funny? I got him really mad because he would keep telling me that he isn't racist. And I, um, 
I uh, I was going to a therapist at the time, and I would watch a shitload of like Nazi documentary. There's not not a shitload, <laughs> but no, I was I, I was watching this doc. Wait, no, I was watching. <laughs> I was I was watching. It was around that Charlottesville time, so they had a shitload of like KKK documentaries on, on okay. uh, Netflix, and you were just absorbing them. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I re- <laughs> and, and what I realized, and even like, no, I had friends like in the Chicago punk scene who ended up joining, like actual skinhead fucking prison gangs. Oh, jeez. And what I realized, I'm like, wait a minute, all these motherfuckers have daddy issues. Every single one of them. Like they all like because they're trying to prove dead and they either died or end up in jail. So like I'm gonna prove it by killing blacks or something, you know. Yeah. And I mentioned this to him, and he's like closet racist. So he's like, "Well, I mean, my my dad died a few years ago." I'm like, "Oh, yeah. explains everything, motherfucker." Mm-hmm. You know? like, so that's I don't always know. a good indicator of when you're not a racist when you constantly have to tell people that you're not a racist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. how you know you're not racist. Just because I'm from Hicktown, Nebraska, doesn't mean I'm racist. <laughs> I, I get fucked up, dude.